So this is about to be a controversial video. I thought about this last night and um, I decided I was gonna do it because why not? I'm going to do a Gemini Cancer, re Gemini Cancer cusp reading um, in between Gemini and doing the Cancer reading. Um, controversial because not, a <sighs> okay, I know you're gonna say, can't cusps don't exist. It's like, I don't know why I just thought of like, uh, Catholicism and like, uh, new age Christians. It's like you both fall under believing in the same thing, but your version of it is different than this version, but you still all believe in the same thing. I hope that made sense to someone. So I will say I was channeling some messages from or tuning in to Gemini Cancer, which I even started thinking if anybody is like, you can't, there's no such thing as a cusp. I'm doing a reading for people born from June 17th through June 23rd. If you would like me to specifically do <laughs> a group of dates for a reading, I'd be happy to do that. If it just so happens to fall between one sign and another, I really, I am like a very, or at least I try damn hard to be non-judgmental. Like, I am open-minded. I am very open-minded. I will give myself that. It might not be for me afterwards, but I'm open-minded. So, the messages that I wanted to share for Gemini Cancer is that um, I just got the feeling that like you feel like your back is against the world right now like you're not relying on anybody you're going at things yourself you feel like a like a loner out here but in the cold with nobody else around you're still going at it yourself or with those who are the closest to you like your wolf pack um i also thought too like Gemini, you have a way of explaining things to people that is like not Gemini Cancer. Gemini Cancer, you have a way of explaining things to people that makes things be understood in a way that makes people stop and go like, wow, that was like really good. Like I really understood that. Um, you could be a teacher, you may have taught, um, you may work in education, but I think the combination of the emotions and the care of Cancer and the communication of Gemini makes this magic, magical combination to be empathic, empathetic while talking, understanding your audience. Um, you're really good too at like bringing yourself down, like down to other people's levels you meet people where they're at and that's like <clears throat> noticed and appreciated it's quite a, quite something to say so this is for gemini cancer cusps born june 17th through the 23rd only one card came out <laughs> it's so funny i saw this card when i was uh shuffling and i thought this is me getting a confirmation that I'm on the right path and that I explained the Two of Swords really well in my Minutes with Meg video that I did earlier. The Two of Swords came out. It also has like a little Gemini sign at the top and the moon right there. Gemini Cancer! In reverse. So that literally is Gemini and then the moon Cancer energy. That's pretty cool. I just got like, this is someone letting their guard down, pulling this blindfold off and showing the world or part of the world who they really are.
lot of reversed cards. Five minutes in my, ooh, Empress reversed. Okay, Two of Swords and Empress reversed. Is someone making a decision about motherhood, about creating something, about um, ending a creation, ending a, um, I even want to say pregnancy? Yeah, maybe someone's in a relationship and like... Um, I also see someone being really protective of their family. Or maybe they've let their guard down. And it's like, here's my family. I also see like letting your guard down and showing uh, this like hidden divine side of yourself. That's, um, I feel like parts of yourself, Gemini, that were at odds with each other in the past, Gemini Cancer, um, odd, parts of yourself that were at odds have come together and are working together. So this could be maybe like your family life and your work life is somehow what didn't work before is now working because you've put in a lot of work. Oh yeah, did you see that fling out? Something's moving forward where you thought you weren't going to, oh my gosh, yeah, where you thought you weren't going to be a mother, where you thought you'd never find your person. This is moving forward. You could be moving in with someone. This is like your happily ever after when you were so guarded and in your head in the past. But um, I see cancer energy again. I see cups energy. I see Pisces energy quite a bit of cups there's like whatever this is that you've begun or who you're with or who you're who is coming now that you've let your guard down and is like zooming in for you this is like um this is good this is very promising i'm seeing the gemini um card again because it's the two of cups two like this is your partner this is your masculine because two and two is four and we already have two here and two there. Maybe it's like you just haven't met them yet or they don't, you don't know that it's your masculine yet. Um, the temperance, yeah, Gemini's not single or she's about to not be single. Um, I see a Sagittarius coming in to like sweep someone off their feet. This is the nine of pentacles. Upright, it's known as like the single ladies card but in reverse i'm thinking someone's not going to be single for much longer someone is like zooming in um someone who is balanced someone who has worked on themselves someone who's has love for themselves and knows how to love themselves and take care of themselves wants to come in and like take care of you they've been in their head about it they've wondered if they had enough to offer but they they wondered if all they could offer you was like a, a fun friendship or a good time but i just see like sincere compatibility here balance and compatibility and you are going to feel very very fulfilled you're going to feel like this is what i sat and waited for i had everything else in a row i didn't give up i didn't take whatever I waited for the right place, person to fit in, and it's here. Because this is nine and this is ten. You found your tenth. I feel like it has to do with um, motherhood. Something you've waited for and thought about and wondered, will this ever come? You've really, really wanted it and you've had, you thought you had a couple opportunities that it would come. Gosh, the Eight of Cups on top of the Nine of Cups on top of the Ten of Cups. Now, you may think that sounds like it's going backwards, but I just, oh, sugar. I just see Gemini Cancer, like, leveling up. 
because you've walked away from things where you know like I'm not fulfilled here you've um you worked on things yourself you built your own bag you were patient you were patient for the right cup you were like if I have to wait morning noon and night I'm gonna wait until the angel comes in for me because that's what I deserve yes Gemini Cancer I just feel the need to specify too like this may not be a baby it may not be motherhood it could be like a creation something you've created a project a um I just heard music like and you've been doing single music and patient and waiting for the right offer to come in and now the right offer has come in and it's like I knew I was doing the right thing by following my intuition. You took a gamble on yourself, Gemini Cancer, and it's paying off. 